Okay, good afternoon, class. So, uh, the third lesson on ratio and proportion. At this point, we are looking at the last few examples dealing with this proportion section of work. Okay. With this ratio and proportion part of the work. So we are told that the profit of a business is divided amongst A, B, and C in the ratio 4 is to 3 is to 2. So here we go. A is to B is to C is in the ratio 4 is to 3 is to 2. A receives 100. Did we do this one? A receives 160 rand. So what does that mean? I must put that under A. So A receives 160 rand. How much does B and C receive? So in other words, so it will be 160 divided by 4 to get what it's worth per unit. What unit, what's the unit worth? Not so. So 160 divided by 4 is 40. So it's 40 rand per. Okay, you guys understand? Okay? 40 rand per unit. So how many units does B get? Three. So it's three times forty. How many units does C get? Two. Two times. Three times forty is one twenty. And C gets? So what is the question? How much does B get? So B gets 120 rand. And C gets? You guys understand? Is there any confusion? Okay. Write down what you need. You take down what you need. Is now lesson three. Number two. Number two. Here we are told that Romano, Ashley, and Rashid. Weight is in the ratio 4 is to 5 is to 6. So we start off by saying Romano is to Ashley is to Rashid. Which is 4 is to 5 is to 6. If Ashley's weight, if Ashley weighs 60 kilograms, so where do we put that? Under Ashley's way. Not so. What is the combined weight of Romano and Rashid? In other words, I must work out what Romano's weight is and what Rashid's weight is, and then I must add it together. You want to agree with that? So do that calculation quickly. So what do we do? 
60 divided by which gives us 12 kilograms per unit. Not so. So Romanus weight is 4 times 12. Rashid is 6 times 12. Which means to say Romano is 48 kilograms and Rashid's weight is So therefore, the combined weight of Romano and Rashid is going to be 48 plus 72. It's going to give you 120 kilograms. Okay, you will understand. There's another way of doing it. Let's try it for now. The cost of building a house is determined by the cost of labor and building material in the ratio 6 is to 5. So labor and building material. So labor is to building material and 6 is to? If the quote for the building material amounts to 75,000 rand, what will the cost of the house be? Well, how did the cost to build the house? So in other words, I need to know what the labor would cost me, not so? And then add the two together. Not so. But if you got 75,000 rand under, what is that going to go? Well, the material. So you see, we give 5,000. So you work out the, uh, the, the cost of the labor and then the cost of building the house. Okay. The course of video at this point. Okay. It sounds like you guys are finished. So what do we do here? Seventy five thousand divided by five. What is seventy five thousand divided by five? Sorry? Fifteen thousand rand per unit. Not so. How many units are here? So six times fifteen thousand. You're gonna give us zero zero zero. Isn't that ninety thousand? I'm getting ninety thousand. You're gonna give me that. So the total cost. I'm gonna give you seventy five thousand plus ninety thousand. You an answer of 165,000. Okay. Is there anybody that's confused? Huh? Okay. I'm moving slowly enough, no? Proportion? We have made this note already, not so. So here we are told that proportion if Four liters of milk cost ten rand. What would three liters cost? So four liters cost ten rand. Then for one liter. So what I do is I divide both by four. I get ten over four, which is two rand fifty per liter. Is the rate? So we, well, what's the difference between the rate and the ratio? The rate. We we compare two of the same quantities. Can you see that? Remember, we had rands and rands. We have the last calculation. We had kilograms to kilograms to kilograms. We had rands to rands to rands. Can you see that? Rands to rands to rands. So when we're dealing with the ratios, then they were of the same quantity. Can you see that, people? Well, so when we're talking about proportion, We, we compare in different quantities. Here we got money and we got and liters. Okay, can you see that people? 
So it's there for 3 liters will cost 3 times 250, which is 750. Now what's the cost of a liter milk? What? Almost 20 rand. The one in the box. The part is over there. Huh? Sucky milk is 14 rand. Sucky milk is not. Uh, 100 and something. Six now, I'm talking about one box. Five, yeah, yeah. Where, where I'm from, we don't buy our box. We only buy one at a time. The next time you want, you can bring your box. Six. It's only a joke. Don't bring me, otherwise, I'm going to have too much milk. Right. Right. Let's do the last one quickly. We're told that the machine takes 20 seconds to make 8 coins. 20 seconds to make 8 coins. How long will it take to make 50 coins? A machine takes 20 seconds to make 8 coins. So we must work out how long does it take the machine to make 1 coin. Can you see that people? So, we're going to say 20 seconds. Over eight coins. So, in other words, it is 20 divided by eight. So, four goes into 20 twice, four, um, into eight twice, four goes into 20 five times. So, that is five over two, not so. So, that is two, comma, five seconds per coin. You see that, people? 225, uh, 20, uh, 2, 5 seconds for every one coin. You see that before? So how long will it take you to make 50 coins? So you're going to say? 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5 times 50. You guys understand? If it takes you... 2,5 seconds for one coin, in 10 coins without taking it, 2,5 times 10, it's 25 seconds. You understand? So for 50 coins, it's 2,5 times 50. We drop the comma, so it's 0, so it's 5 is 25, so it's 10 is 12. One digit, so it's going to give you 125 seconds. Okay. You guys understand? Ready? But what if the question was, how many minutes would that take? Minutes and seconds. How many minutes are there in, a, in an hour? In a, how many seconds are there per minute? 60. So that I divide by 6, I'll get 2, of course. Not so. So it's going to be 2, hour, two minutes? 5 seconds. Okay. Yes, my girl? Oh, my word. I thought you were going to ask me something mathematical. You want to ask, yes. So, so, every time, every time, so when you change it into a decimal, it's like at the fraction. Do you always have to like switch them and make it? Because I even from 5 over 2, you said it equals to 2 over 5. Like, you always have to switch it. She's asking, do I have to change it to decimal? The answer is no. So that would have been 5 over 2 seconds per point. So 5 over 2 times 50. That goes once. 2 goes to 50 25 times. 25 times 5 is 125. Just 2 minutes. And 5 seconds. Understand? Yeah, any other confusion? Okay, so that brings us to the end of these examples.
With that, you should be able to do the rest of the exercise. Okay.